All right, so our 200 watt panels come in. I already installed mine on my coach and we're getting ready to do Andy's on his coach. Uh, if you go back and I'll put a link to the video, Brian Boone in September pre-wired both of us for these panels as soon as they come out. They are 200 watt, 9.5 amp. We are cutting the MC4 connectors off and we just hardwire everything. So we take the MC4 connectors off and then we use a copper butt connector with a hydraulic handheld press that really smushes them down. And then we will take heat shrink and put on it and get it all sealed up once we get it on the roof. Now when you get these, they come hot and negative, but you always want to test these to make sure that the hot is hot and the negative is negative. Every once in a while they will get switched. So Brian, when he was uh, in September, he gave us these brackets. These are non-tilt, the ones we have, because these will lay flat. But he made, Brian makes these brackets and he gave them to us to install on these. You wanna make sure that this panel is up high enough that gets air underneath it, because it creates heat. All right, so we got this panel on top. Anytime you're getting ready to crimp, you want to make sure you cover this panel because it's bringing in power and you go touching them over there and you might light yourself up. This panel, just like mine, will not raise. It'll just stay flat. So what we do before we put these, the brackets down, is we mark it and we use E6000. Uh, these brackets will never come up. If you took the, if you took the screws out of them, you probably couldn't lift the brackets up. Uh, brackets will have to come off the panel and then lift the panel up. And then, of course, uh, we use die core. You want to make sure you heat shrink, get it good and tight. And then we even put electrical tape around it, just to make sure. But once you get everything hooked up, where you can't get zapped from the master technician Joshua Lloyd over here. Negative. Ghost Rider. Then you can take the cardboard off. And then you always want to die core. Self-leveling is best. So anytime you're messing with solar, especially adding solar, you want to make sure you shut off the red shutoffs. That's the power coming from the solar panels to the uh, charger, solar charger. You want to shut them off. That way, if you just happen to touch anything the way you shouldn't have touched it, you're not going to mess nothing up. So. We had, both of us added 200, that gave me 1170, gave Andy 1190. Uh, we should be bringing in about 70 amps now. Uh, hope it helps. Uh, all of our stuff, that panel and everything we got from Brian Boone, I'll put the link to uh, his blog down below. You can click on it and buy anything solar, anything solar. So we'll see you guys, thanks.